What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to the After Action Report for the Star Wars Shatterpoint Battle Report between Dathomir and the Republic. Uh, I was joined by Alex with this game, and uh, what a game it was. I, I think there was a lot of really good back and forth going on here. It did eventually end up with a win for uh, for the Dathomirians. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it was skin of my teeth. Like You really started pulling back at the end there. I, I didn't feel at any point like the game was over. I felt even towards the end there, that I could maybe pull it to a third struggle. Um, it, it was a very good game, very good back and forth. Um, it's just I my, a lot of my attrition didn't quite follow all the way through. I did a lot of almost enough damage, or just a little bit of ping damage. It was all the attacks you put into Django. Oh my goodness. Can I just say, Django Fett. What, Jan what in the world was that? Django was a champ this game, <laughs> he, man. He like, not so <laughs> fast pushed out so much damage he took way too many attacks uh just yeah he just edged down so many things and he was just a thorn in your side this whole game oh, like for sure Django was honestly my mvp this game oh absolutely right? like no no question about it um because he yeah he he scored me so many points mm -hmm. and at the very end there when i finally realized like wait a minute there's something i can do jump down there push over there jump back up. yeah that ridiculous series of events where he just goes wait no this is my point actually yeah yeah uh, like, also just in all of that very passively just goes oh also if luminara goes she's dead yep yep no his, his not so fast was such just it was just such a uh, an anchor weighing yep. over your head right um i will say i'm very i'm very proud of you remembered flow of the force Quite, uh, quite frequently. I did. I was hoping to remember a few more dashes, but those just didn't happen. Um, oh, did you miss some still? No, uh, I just didn't kill you fast enough. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was a very interesting game because you you had a lot of very early momentum score wise, mm -hmm. and I was able to kind of claw it back a little bit. I'm not quite sure. I think it was Maul who really kind of turned very me. good activation and. Um, generally speaking, when you flipped something <clears throat> over, I was then able to follow through and flip it back. And when Maul came over and flipped that over, I wasn't able to get it back from you. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. So Maul was a very key action there. Like, I, I don't know if he was necessarily game-winning, but he was very key action. The Night Sisters... They were there. They were there. They were there. Fifth Brother was just... He didn't he didn't <laughs> do a lot in the game, but he his presence was always being felt. He had a, a, a very, I want to say, an understated version of what Django had, where just kind of being there kind of determined what i was doing yeah um well because at one point you mentioned to me like having uh, having fifth brother as the last activation in my deck was meant, terrifying yeah you could just be like this is my point now. and i hadn't considered that like i was actually thinking about pulling him instead of the night sisters mm -hmm. uh to uh, to go with them uh, go with him and then you mentioned like wait a minute yeah like that's that's an excellent last activation yeah um because it, it means he just walks over and takes a point back easily which so. is a very powerful effect, and yes, it could be. It could have wound up being a very force-hungry way to do it, but if he's your last activation, you don't care how much force you spend. With. Which is also very true. Now, granted, I went through force really fast. This game. You did. Like you, I, <laughs> I was so force-starved this game. Darth Maul not really spending force kind of helped, but Jango Fett spent a lot of force. Talzin spent a lot of force. Savage spent a lot of force. Uh, Savage didn't. Spend... Right at the end, you at, the, at the end, sure. But otherwise, the only force force was only being spent on Jango and Talzin. That's true, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm manipulating hands, uh, and then I did a whole bunch of like not so fast capture wire jumps, all that sort of stuff. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I ever did a furious rush with Savage. I only did a Dark Fury once. Oh, you're right, yeah. Um, I never did a jump with the Night Sisters. I never used any of the Fifth Brothers uh, stuff either. Hmm. So yeah, it was pretty much Talzin and Django was spending all my force. Because I was doing not so fast a lot, right? Yes. Like, I think uh, I think I went through... Before I reshuffled, uh, I want to say I did at least two not so fasts. I think you did it to the Arfs twice over the course of the game. I know you did it to Windu. I think you did it to Rex. I think Rex got hit for four or something yes, like Rex that. Yeah, Rex got hit for four. That's what, yeah, Rex <laughs> got hit for four and he had to recover his way back up. Um, also, full recovery, it did, like, I got to use it twice this game. I don't feel like it did that much. Like, yes, Rex was prevented from going down, but... Well, I, I eventually kind of hit a point where, like, I stopped pushing for damage and I was pushing more for conditions. Yes. And, and I, I feel like that... I would have loved to have full recovery a character, but... Or yeah. Full recovery Luminara, but you get to <laughs> shoot before that. And... Yeah. <laughs> Had my finger on the trigger just waiting for it. Yep. 
A little part of me was tempted to draw the game out just to just to do that, <laughs> but uh, no, it was there was a lot of really good back and forth. Um, I think I think Mace had a really good board presence in this particular mm-hmm. game. He actually did some good work for you every time you activated him. Uh, yes, I think, which I think was really good. I think this was the first time pawns kind of didn't really do much for us. He wasn't terrible. He, he moved wasn't... some people around. He got a little bit of work done. Um, I, I never feel bad taking pawns, even when he's not doing a ton, because yeah. he's only a three-pointer. Yeah, he wasn't terrible, but he just he didn't have the weird bombastic results that we <laughs> usually see out of him. Yeah, I think this was the most actually <laughs> representative game of pawns. I will say, unfortunately, I'm still kind of lukewarm on the clone commandos. They they're I feel like they have a similar situation as the Light Sisters, where they're kind of just also there. I also don't think they need to be six stamina. I think they could easily be seven stamina with. With protection. I agree. Um, I feel like they because they're a, a stamina less than the ARPs, even though they have their protection, they don't feel that much more durable. Because they're not. They're not. They can still be dummied with a, with a 7 uh, damage attack, mm-hmm. which feels really bad. And I, it, it just kind of feels like they should be they should be a little bit tougher. And the protection is meant to represent that, but mm-hmm. if they get one shot, protection really doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. Like, protection, you really start seeing the value if you get chip damaged a whole bunch, but... Mm-hmm. Because I went in with Maul. Maul's just like, I don't do chip damage. If Maul does chip damage, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> I mean, Maul's worst chip damage is probably like two, maybe three damage, yeah. right? Like, that, that's his chip. Um, yeah, so the, the Clone Commandos, I feel like, still could be a little bit better uh, yeah. across the board here. But it, it kind of it is what it is. The ARFs continue to be really powerful. Uh, shutting down your coordinated fire as early as I did. I feel like that's a, a pretty solid, consistent play <laughs> that we've seen quite a bit. Uh, and it just making unexposed cost a force as opposed to for free yep. is good. Yep. Uh, and, and even though you had a lot of force, like I was still willing to spend it on the exposed once a price in that game. Oh yeah, no for sure. Like it's for sure. that good of an ability. Oh yeah, no for sure. I I actually built a list where I didn't have a lot of reactive abilities on this one, and I I really felt it. On well, this you particular had one, one particular reactive ability that shaped the game yeah not not so fast did a whole lot but i didn't really make use of the coordinated fire from the night sisters no, um that really. maul talzin and savage could have been using um but yeah it was, it was kind of a different list i wanted to go heavy with the dathomarians and i was trying to figure out it's like okay well what do i bring for the other stuff here and it was a toss-up between the fifth brother or uh, some droids <laughs> of some sort and i opted for the fifth brother and i think the fifth brother was a good choice i i agree i feel like if you've got four points to spare Fifth Brother is generally speaking a good inclusion. I, I had to double check to make sure it was uh, it was uh, era appropriate. It weirdly is as well yeah, because re- we've only got the two eras right now. He fits in almost every list. Yeah, but I, I, I was a little paranoid of that at first. I just had to had to make sure that we saw that that little that little matching icon on there, and, and thankfully we did. <laughs> so because I didn't want to get in here like, oops, cheated. Famous member of the Clone Wars, the Fifth Brother. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I think that that's it for this particular game. Uh, Alex, as usual, great game, man. Had a lot of fun with you. Fantastic And game. Um, yeah, ho- hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be seeing some more kicking around here. Uh, for everyone watching, hit up the comments below. Let us know what you like, didn't like, all that sort of stuff. Get that algorithm going. And remember, if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash Uh And uh, yeah, everything there helps out the channel, helps us grow, helps us stay with the lights on and all that sort of stuff. So thank you so much. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.